Hey, 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 are y'all ready? Hold on, let me turn on some light in this piece. Let me turn some light on. <laughs> OMG. I got a package today from Timu and some stuff I ordered. Um, well, before we get started, um, let us pray. Father God, I appreciate you for blessing me and blessing my home. Uh, I thank you for covering us, me and Saxton. I thank you for watching over us. Lord, I thank you for all that you do for me, all that you've done for me, all that you're going to do for me. Today, I give you all the honor, all the praise, all the glory. Oh, God, everything belongs to you. Everything is due to you for all that you've done for uh, us, your people. And, Lord, I just want to say thank you. I thank you, and I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. From the, every part of my heart, I mean it. And, Lord, I love you with all my heart, mind, and soul. I love you with everything in me. So right now, I pray that everything is in this bag that I ordered. I pray that I enjoy each and everything. Oh, God, I pray that everything be safe, you know. And I'll, even though I don't know people, a whole lot of people, I pray that you bless them and touch them, that they be safe as well. And I thank you. Oh, God, I pray that you lay people in my heart to continue to bless them. Oh, God, it's not just about me. He said, if I give, I shall receive. And seek, you know, seeking I shall find. And knock on the doors, and doors shall be open unto me. I'm not saying it uh, just word for word, but I, I know what I'm, my heart. My heart is crying out to others, and I pray that as you bless me, you bless others. And I thank you right now for all things. In your name I pray in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, Jesus' name. Amen. Let's get into this bag. Uh, you know I don't order some more shoes. Wow. Let me see. Let me see if I can lay y'all down. As you see me. Let me see here. I need to get that tried so y'all can see. Hold on. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, 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 okay. I should have put up my other phone as well. Let me see. This one is so flimsy. You see my... My hoodie and my hair. I got it up in a big ponytail. It's at the top. <sighs> but anyways, I said, nope, not today. It's nice too. Um, nice and warm. Okay. If I can get a situation. This, uh, this part right here is, is weak. You know. I, I had to order, uh, I got another one upstairs, and it's very sturdy, it's, it's heavy. Okay, I just, I ordered these shoes here. Yeah, nice fit, overall. Let me don't try it on my feet. I got socks on, it should be able to fit easy, even when I have socks on. <sighs> Oh, yeah. It's a slide on. It's a slide on. Hold on. I got to do other phone. It's a slide on, y'all. It feels good. Yes, I, I got name brand shoes. I got a bunch of um, Nikes, New Balance, Adidas. I'm the type of person, if I see something I like it, I get it. It don't have to be name brand. Because a lot of people be like, oh. I don't wear them if they, um, ain't real. 
That's crazy. They go with my any of my uh, fits and stuff like that outfits. I'm going to wear them. I'm not ashamed. Man, it's gonna get on my Ugh, crazy man. Put you up like that. See if you can stay up there. Hold on. This one right here make you want to just cry. Sometime. Okay. Take this off. And it's easy. It's an easy pull off. See? Look. Easy put on, easy pull off. So, I like them. I really like them. Okay. Took enough time on that. Um, yeah, as I was saying, so many people that's in need, that's hungry out there, and um, I don't have time to be trying to um, gloat and all this stuff. God don't want us doing that. He wants to help other people. So this is a um, thing that right here is for the phones. I put so many things in here, but... I'm going to use them in my re uh, recording studio because I have so many things that I have to hook up to this. And I ain't got to be reaching over like that, doing like that, doing like that. So, yes, it's like an adapter thing, thingy, connector. I try to open it. Same size, everything. It came in the same size. The shoes that I ordered, just like I, I ordered. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, uh, Timu. Thank you, Timu. This is it right here. And you got your cord, everything right here. See? So you can stick that in the computer and, and add everything else. I don't want to take too much time. Um, okay, put that on the side. This is a mobile, something dealing with the phone, I think. There's another phone holder. I just I got another phone holder that just came in today. Um, yes, phone holder. I need like three of them in my car because what? How many phones you think I got? Ooh, I don't want to drop that. So I guess you hold this and bring that up. Yeah, you hold the sides and it come right up. That's how you want to uh, place it in the car. So if I have it in the car like that, so I can push the button. Hold on. And have it like this. Have it sitting up like that. And have it like this. Because ordinarily, the, uh, let it tap that. Man, I, I like, I don't got to wear. Man, it's just me and my dog. And, um, I don't bother, you know, nobody. And hopefully, um, hold on. I take this off. I take the top off. I take the top off. Put that in. It just, it goes in there easy. It goes easy. You see what I'm saying? So, what I gotta do is take this out. that back on there and try to stick this in here I don't want to break it there you go there you go and just tighten it back tighten it back you know uh, I don't get into um, anything of the politics I don't even speak about it because that's not my nature to do so see this is how I look when you get finished that's how I look so when I stick it in my car you're gonna, I'm going to have it like this on my, I'm going to have it just like this, because my other phone is going to be facing this way, and then I'm going to have this one this way. So, yeah, I like it. I'm in, I'm in, okay, I'm not saying I'm in love, but I like it. Okay, here we go. That's another pair of shoes. You know, I, I look at it like this. My sister's gonna come over here and take them anyways. 
That's nice. Look at that. That's nice. Look at that. These are women's shoes. These are women's shoes. And look, they got a, a shoe thing in there. <laughs> so let me put this on. Easy slip on. Hold on. It's an easy slip on. Like I got on these uh, big old socks. Yeah, easy slip on. Let me see how this look. Let's see. I need to walk out. I'm not an arrogant person. I don't I don't even like be around arrogant people. And um God is not pleased. Uh, let's see. See the shirt? See my shirt? Ain't this nice? And it's heavy too. The material is, the material is very heavy. I like it. I, I love this shirt because I ain't got to, I can cover myself. You know what I'm saying? You can cover yourself. Heavy set people, I'm going to tell you like this here and I'll be straight with you. I'm, I'm heavy set. I don't want to walk around and I'm gonna know I got on something real tight and I got it up like this. Nope. I want to cover. You don't have to have it. it each is on. Each is on. I'm not going to tell you what to wear. It's none of my business. But I just know that um, I got to be careful what I put on. Yes. So I like those. Wow. I, I, they matching my own. Um, I got things that they match. And I'm not just buying anything. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the lipstick, I think. Is it the navy blue? Hold on, y'all. Mm. For the lips. Colors and stuff. I, but you know, I don't switch to orange now. My um, my favorite color is orange now. I switch from red to orange. And then I got on um one of my friends' sites where they were selling and stuff like that. You know, jewelry and stuff. And a girl told me she said, "Everybody taking my color." I said, "What is your color?" And I said, "I'm about to switch again." Um, I don't want to take nobody's color. You feel me? Let me see here. <laughs> okay. Can we do this? Can we do it? I'm gonna do it right. Put you in there. Okay. I don't like this one right here because this one right here, it's not good. It's not a good one. This pie right here. When I do order my pies, I go to Amazon or um, in order because they uh, I like for this to be sturdy and and whatnot. But this one's not sturdy at all. T Moo, I have to tell you, this one ain't sturdy. I've been ordered this one um, a while back, but it's too weak, you know, to be holding up a phone that I have. And you don't want to act right. Ain't that something? Okay. We're going to do it like this. Okay. Let me see what this is all about. I'm very careful what, what I wear. Um... When I look in the mirror and it don't go right, I don't wear it. Let me see. It smells good. It smells like you can eat it. Mmm. That's pretty. Uh, once I get it on, it's going to be blue. 
I said once it um I wear it for a minute. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I ain't putting a whole lot on because um I'm taking it off. I'm very careful about what I put on my lips and stuff. So far their products have been real good. This back. I ordered this thing like, okay. If I want to lay on the floor or something like that. Um, before going any further, I got more Timu coming in. I ordered a whole bunch of more stuff. Um, this is the season that you need to order because everything's on sale. And you need to go in there like a like it's a Black Friday. I'm telling you. Like, uh, they call it Sheen, but it's really Shine. They also got a sale on. I ordered from them, too. Let me see here. Oh, it's nice. This is a nice bag, y'all. Look at this bag. It's my favorite color now. Orange. I might go orange and black. I might just do that. Like a bumblebee. No, bumblebee is yellow. Yeah. So, it's, this is uh, got to be blown up. So if I want to lay down in the living room or something like that and watch TV, I can. It just needs to be blown up. It's it's nice. It's like a bed, you know. It's a bed. It's a bed. So what I do is I can fold this up when I travel, and I can take this with me wherever I go. I don't like sleeping in nobody's beds and stuff like that. I really don't. I don't care what nobody say. So that's the end of that package. Um, I got to show y'all the other thing. I just ordered a, a sprinkler as well. Um, not a sprinkler. It's a sprinkler. Hold on. Oh, here you go, right here. This is the thing for it. To blow it up. See? I don't know if they got an after thing on here. <laughs> and I can store it securely without it damaging it. It's in this bag. So, this is neat. This is another phone um phone holder. I guess this is a yes yeah, a phone holder that I put in my car. So if I get tired of the other ones, I'm gonna put this one up. Yeah, put that back. So I got two more phone holders. This going upstairs. This is a nice little sprinkler, y'all. You see that? Look at that. I put it on my sprinkler. Shh. I could wash my own car. I need to get some shelves put in my um my um garage so I can have like um this comes off. Yeah. So I can have with and make it more room out there because um Saxton also um, I'm going to let him loose like even when I go to work I'm going to start doing that because he's getting older you know I know he's going to try to tear up stuff but if I cover up stuff hopefully um, he can't bite through steel <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it safe for him to be outside or what not because um when I'm gone, I don't want him to be, um, you know, really missing me as much. He have plenty to do, so I'm going to give him plenty to do. Okay? And I'm going to have an area out there just in case he make a mistake and use the bathroom. I'm going to have that area out there for him as well. So, anyways, that's it for the day with T-Mo. Team, I don't have it on right, y'all. I just put it on there to, to test it. Well, anyways, um, I love you all, and um, I love y'all from the heart of Christ. 
Um, I'm going to say this to whoever feel like they're nobodies, they're down and out. You're valuable. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all something. Just because I'm here by myself. And sometimes I, I still feel um, a little down. But guess what? God come and he showed me that, hey, I'm here with you. I don't have no reason to feel down. And I'm very much grateful for that. Um, hey, and things that's coming up now, it's, a, it's journeys that God has me on. So um, I don't want to complain about them. I don't want to be like, oh, man, and this and that. I know I told y'all I was going to leave my job. I was going to go somewhere else, um, get closer to home. And a still voice told me to wait. Don't move. You know, and I'm not going to move. Unless, you know, God move. God, God will move you to a better place if he, when he's ready. If he thinks that um, another place is better for me and stuff like that. And he showed me every, as attributes, everything about my job that I'm on now. He let me know you really blessed. You ain't got to do nothing. You got it easy. Only thing I hate is driving there and back. But still, that's a blessing. I got a vehicle. I got transportation. And I ain't got no reason to complain. So I'm going to tell y'all this. Whoever thinking about leaving a job, shut your mouth. Don't say nothing about you leaving. But sit down and talk to the Lord. Slow down. Slow your mind down. Let God talk to you and show you. He will talk to you because he came. He showed me, came to me and showed me to wait. And so many signs he's showing me to wait because I might get to the other job and they know I got a, um, a back problem on, and they might be nasty with me. They might, you never know what you're going into. Everybody want to hire you. Um, and I stopped looking because the Lord let me know that I ain't got to chase nothing. It's, it comes to me. And that's the truth. I ain't never had to chase anything. Never had to chase it. And I know somebody out there, um, with the same testimony, uh, that I have or a, a more a more elite testimony or a, a, a more higher level of testimony because they don't been there. They don't done that. So it's just that I can't move unless the Lord say move. When my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ say, hey, it's time to go, I'm going to go. You know what I'm saying? I've been signing applications. And normally, I'm telling y'all, you know, one one person, somebody called me. I messed I mess around and then put Myrtle Beach, uh, South Carolina, and it was a Milwaukee on that. They called me. <laughs> and I said, like, oh, I live in South Carolina. I'm sorry. And they said, I thought so, you know. And I said, yeah. He was like, I, I thought it sounded, I seen loans on there and stuff like that. But South Carolina, he said, I thought so. Who going to Milwaukee? It ain't me. Unless the Lord say go. You know what I'm saying? And South Carolina is so beautiful here. I'm telling y'all. Um, I know one year, I think it was 2019, 2021, 2020. And I kept, and I said, we don't get no snow. We like Florida. This is like Florida weather, right? So mine told me, yeah, y'all going to get it. I said, no, nah, I don't think so. It's not cold enough. She said, go outside and look. As soon as I opened the door, it was snow on the ground. I was like, what? I took a video of it and everything. I, I hope, hopefully I still have that video. But um, then when I came back in to get some old stuff, or like the, I wanted to record some more, I went out there, the snow was gone. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, really? And I said, well, thank you, Lord, I, because... I am so thankful. I was raised up in the snow. I'm, I came from Miami. I'm a Miami girl. Like my mom used to call it Miami. I'm a Miami girl. Um, she moved, moved us to Kentucky. And we call it E-Town, Kentucky. And it snowed every year. And the snow be up to your hip bones. Sometimes you be walking in it and come up to your chest. And I, I never liked the snow. I never... My mom said, go out there and play. Go go do an angel out there. I'm looking out the window at everybody else. No, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't my thing, but it was so beautiful. I mean, it's so, it was pretty and white. 
so beautiful. And I'm just forever grateful, y'all. I'm telling you, we have to be grateful. We have to be thankful. And we can't complain about anything. Stop complaining. If you got a business or anything you have, uh, God don't bless you with stuff. When you create it, feel like you're going to complain. Sit down and think about it. And look around and say, oh, thank you, Lord. I didn't have this before. I didn't have that before. And you just constantly blessing me. And I never forget this saying, and I'm going to say it every, try to say it every video. Judge the thoughts that, that you think about. Judge them thoughts before, and judge the words that seem like they want to come out your mouth before you speak. Because if we do that, then we'll be like, Lord, I don't, you're not in that. You know what I'm saying? And so I just thank God for his many blessings. I thank God for um, the challenges, the journey. I wouldn't be telling you this, uh, any of this information if I never went through it. Oh, look at this right here. Um, I made my own cast for my, my pinky finger. Uh, a girl at the job told me, she said, just wrap it in tape. Something that's sturdy. And um, I ain't been to the doctor with it. Um, and it's, the swelling has went down and everything. Your boy Saxton, y'all. You, if you guessed it, I had Saxton outside and I messed around. And I had the thing of holding it, but I didn't know it was wrapped around my finger. And when he pulled, it, I, I believe it either sprung it or broke it, you know, because in the middle part of it, I couldn't bend it or anything. And um, the young lady said, just put tape. I said, oh, okay, I should have known better. I should have known that anyways. But through it all, don't complain. Through it all, just continue to do, you know, and I was reading in the scripture at one time where it says, if your right eye offend you, pluck it out. If your right hand or left, like this left hand offend you, I got to go back and read it. I'm not, I'm not a scripture quoter. I'm a liver, not a quoter. Uh, he said, be a doer, <laughs> not just a hearer. Um, but um, I just know, I just know that um we can make it through this you know what i'm saying we can make it through these things uh just by being obedient to the word of god if you're not obedient you're not gonna make it if you feel like you it's all about you and nobody help you you say i did this all by myself i'm like how did i do it by myself you know what i'm saying i ain't no way i done anything by myself Ain't no way that I got up this morning on my own. Ain't no way that I got up and walked on my own. Sometimes my ankle, oh, especially the right one, and I stand up, I say, oh, and God said, lift on up and he'll show me. You know, get on your knees and pray. Yeah, and I would say, Lord, I thank you. You got to show me what to do. And I have, I don't do anything on my own. I don't, you don't do nothing on your own. Without the Lord, you, don't, you can't do nothing. You know what I mean? So, um, this light ain't giving me what I, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, um, I just truly am, I'm truly am grateful. When I was younger, I would say by 19, I was mostly wearing red. I mean, I liked it that, uh, not bright, but it was just, it was just perfect. You know what I'm saying? And I got some red in there, but, um, Red was one of my to to goes, you know what I'm saying. I put the little line up under my eyes and put the red on my my lips. The guys went crazy, you know what I'm saying. So, um, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna ask this question before I let y'all go. Anybody ever like went to the club? And I'm not boasting. I'm not bragging. I'm glad God took me out of it. And um, it would be snow on the ground, and to look sexy, um, I had on my, still I had on a little sleeveless dress, and it was above my knees, oh, I had a nice shape, you know what I'm saying, I got that from, God bless me to inherit that from my mom, my mom was always small, until she got older, in her, I think, 50s, she started gaining weight like me, um, but um, I went out, and to be, feel like I was sexy, and um, I went, had my little dress on. Snow on the ground. It'd be like 29 degrees out there. And to get in, into the club, guys just go crazy. 
Um, but as I get older, as I'm older now, I look back at this stuff and I'm like, wow. Hmm. Yeah. You look back at it and you say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When, uh, when I'm going to say this too, when you feel like you got to be skimpy and show more, men don't care about, men look at you as being easy. They look at you as being, oh, even though we was tough coming up, I didn't sleep with the guys now. Come on now. I had a boyfriend, but, um, you know, it took me forever to sleep with him. And um, we didn't we didn't even think about it. It was like back then you'd be like, we dated forever. Nowadays they jump in right in the bed, not thinking if they got a disease or anything. But um, women, we have to value ourselves. We have to set ourselves in a place where um, if I don't value myself, ain't nobody else gonna value me. God made us be beautifully and wonderfully made. He created us as beautiful women. It doesn't matter the, co the color. It doesn't matter who you are. You know what I'm saying? We are beautiful women. We don't need these clowns to come in and try to uh, run us. Um, you know what I'm saying? I call it run us out. I say run us out of our senses. We're smarter than that. You know what I'm saying? I'm 55 years old and still single. I look back and say, wow. Normally, I would have been went out there and, you know, got a boyfriend. <laughs> God is my everything. I don't need that. I don't need that false hope. I need hope and faith from the Lord, which is real hope, real faith, real peace, real joy. Because if you get with somebody that's a headache, you ain't going to be able to rest. You ain't going to be able to, um, you know, think. No peace nowhere. I'd rather have I'd rather have peace and joy than to be sitting up wondering why you here when you're leaving. You know, I can't put you out and I wanna put you out, but something in my heart keep dragging along. It's not just about the bedroom, y'all. I'ma say it like this, it's not about the bedroom. It's not about competitive. It's not about this. It's about you being happy. Oh, I gotta be with him to see how he is and all this. I heard them I hear people tell that lie. Do you know who he is? Men, do you know who she is? No. It's not about that. It's not about that, y'all. It's about giving your heart and mind, soul to Christ. Let him lead and guide you. It's nothing wrong with being by yourself. You get to know yourself. A lot of us don't want to know who we are. That's why we're afraid. And we always got to have somebody around us. That's not, no, that's not reality. That's not, you know, that's not happiness. So, hey, I'm going to get off this, but I love you all from the heart of Christ. And I pray that y'all having a marvelous, wonderful, uh, prosperous, blessed day, week, you know, and this week went by real fast. I took Saxon to his um, doctor's appointment today. And when I brought him in, everybody was like, he is so handsome. Uh, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Um, but then the doctor that was there before, his other doctor, and I walked in, they said, he's not here no more. And I said, okay. And whatever he told you to feed your dog, stop feeding that dog, that stuff. I've been stopped. <laughs> I just, you know what I'm saying? Um, cause I, I know, um, I went back and I went all the way back to when I had dogs and my mom had her dog and what we did for them dogs. And it, it worked. Saxton fur came back. He was shedding so much. I didn't understand what was going on. And I went doing, I started doing natural stuff for him, just like our hair. When you see it shedding so much, you better find, I do natural stuff to my hair. That's my edges. I remember I had wore braids years ago, and um, over here, I think it was over here, and I started seeing spots, even here. 
when I, I made, I, I did my own little stuff. I created my own little stuff. Um, it looked like a hair grease, but it's not. It's like a, it's a moisturizer, I believe. And so what I do is I, when I put it on my scalp, I massage it in my scalp. Then I take the hair down piece by piece, and I, I massage it in there. First of all, you better wet wet your hair. If you got natural hair, wet it. Um, even when you got a perm, uh, your your hair is much weaker when you have chemicals in it than natural. Um, but you can still wet it uh, and curl up. My hair curls up anyways, and I got natural hair. I've been natural since uh, 2021, I believe, March of 2020, March of 20, March of 2021. I went natural and, um, it's, oh boy, I'm taking this out soon. I got like, um, just make two weeks, two weeks. So the next week uh, it, it'd be three weeks and, um, anybody know me, I don't keep it up in my hair too long. I don't like my hair being, it's not tight at all. I don't do my break, my plaits tight. I'm going to do my own hair in plaits or no, twisters i'm going back to twisters because um i really don't like plaiting my hair or whatnot but uh twisters are better i'm gonna give a shout out to uh different people um uh that i, I don't hear from too much anymore uh little sis lisa smile is um please go on her page and support her um you know, subscribe to her channel, man. She got the best hair products for natural hair. Women with natural hair, she has the best products. She have a product called Marie's Legacy, and the Lord blessed her with that. She named it after her grandmother, and um, her grandmother must have been sweet, nice, because it represents her her grandmother. It smells so good, and it's purple. Um. But once it get on my hair, uh, OMG, my hair just falls in love. It's just like my hair loves water and it loves Marie's Legacy. Marie's Legacy. Do I need to go get a bottle, y'all? Do I need to go get a bottle? Hold on. Hold on a minute. Let me say, I don't want to just talk about it. I don't want to just talk about it. I want to be about it. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm ordering some more. I had to give myself time because I've been ordering so much stuff. To wear this phone. This pile is crazy. I think I gave. I just stuck some in the mail. And sent it off. Y'all. Please go get Marie's Legacy. Is that what it says? Marie's Legacy styling phone. That's what it says. And this is how it look. You can't go wrong y'all. See I don't use this bottle. See I need some more. Because I'm about to. This is my last bottle. But, hey, Marie's Legacy, Lisa Smile is. Please go on her play, her channel. Subscribe to her channel. This stuff works. And when you put it in your hair, I just I just sold some. Uh, not sold it, but um, I just uh, met a lady when I was coming out doing my taxes. And the reason why I said sold is because the information. I just gave her information. So you have somebody coming on there to, um, no, I can't sell this. It's copywritten. This is uh, somebody else on this. I used the wrong choice words. Y'all forgive me. Um, and I would not sell this anyways. I buy a whole bunch of it and I just give it away. But I met a lady when I was doing my taxes and, um, she had natural hair and I seen her hair was dry. And she had like uh, twisters in her hair, like like twisters going up and then twisters on the side hanging. And I just walked up to her and I said, ma'am, Marie's Legacy. And I pulled up the site. So she should be coming on her. Um, she got my information as well, but she should be coming on Lisa's uh, page. Uh, it's a bunch of people coming on your uh, your channel. It's a bunch of people coming on your channel. I just sent one of these to Kentucky to one of my sisters um, in Christ. Uh, well, I'm in Christ? Well, we was like family. I'm going to say it like this. We grew up. I grew up. They was much older than me and stuff like that. So she loves it. She got a short. Her hair is real short. 
but she needed something like I told her to saturate her hair and then put it on the foam on there and then take her little thing on there or do whatever you're going to do and then put your thing on it. And then when you take it off, it'll be curly. So this is it. This is it. Marie's legacy. Marie's legacy. Maybe I need to turn Marie's legacy. Lisa Smilich, y'all. Lisa Smilich. I stopped buying hair products from the store. I don't really, I don't buy any more products from the store. Um, I either make my own moisturizer and, and I order my stuff from Lisa. So, Lisa, I'm I'm coming at you. I told you I was going to come and order some more and I'm still going to come. This is about, there's so many things been happening, it seems like. Not with the money, but um, just being real busy and doing different things. So, you just... um. Just pray continuously to pray and ask God to increase, increase. It's what we're supposed to do for each other. Pray increase on each other. So I love you. I'm getting out of here this time. I love you all. I say like by the, the heart of Christ, I pray that y'all um, prosper. Be blessed, y'all. Blessings and more blessings. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for subscribing, viewing, and sharing. I'm talking too much. I know. <laughs> so I'm going to get on off here. So love y'all. Bye-bye.